Hey guys, welcome to Wagwa Nuts. Now recently there was an article I read about Facebook um, listening in to your conversations that you're having, even when your phone's not on or not open, uh, and then providing targeted ads. So when you go in to your Facebook, you start seeing ads related to that conversation you were having, even though that conversation was between you and whatever, um, and you may have never had that conversation in front of your phone before. All of a sudden, Facebook is now starting to provide you targeted ads related to that discussion. Now that's a bit freaky, right? What does that mean? Your phone's listening to you. Well, with things like Google Assistant and Amazon, it will be listening to you anyway. But why does Facebook need to listen to you? Why do you want Facebook to listen to you? Now people obviously got a bit worried about that. Um, so I'm going to show you a way you can actually disable it. Now with Android, so we're in Facebook right now. You don't need to use the Facebook app to do this, right? You need to use your settings from your phone. So on Android, I'm going to show you a video for iOS as well. But for Android, it's pretty straightforward. Now, you go to settings. You go to apps. And this is a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So it will be similar for most Android devices. You go to settings. You go to apps or applications in some cases. You find Facebook, okay? Um, now, the important thing to note, and most people ignore this, is when you install an app, each app, will say, oh, I need the following permissions. I need access to your camera. I need access to your microphone. I need access to your bookmarks or your internet. And when you install it, you just normally you just say, oh, yeah, yeah, just install, install. You ignore it, right? But uh, those are the things that give those apps access to your phone's hardware and stuff like that. So if we're going to find Facebook in the list, right? This is on Android, remember. That. So on, on iOS or iPhone, it's a bit different. So F for Facebook. So we go to Facebook. Okay. So it gives you app info for Facebook. Hopefully you guys can read that clearly. Um, and then what you do is you go to permissions. And you can see permissions here. Now this is what... These are the permissions that Facebook is requiring from your device. So look, it wants access to your calendar. It wants access to your camera. It wants access to contacts. It wants access to location, microphone, phone, SMS, and storage. So here you can see I've already got most of them disabled except for location and storage. You need storage to store, you know, basic pictures and, uh, you know, backup of some of the, the data that you're seeing on screen. So you have to have that, otherwise the app probably won't work at all. But why does Facebook require access to microphone? Why does it need that? And in my case, it was actually on. Um, so you can see I've got it on and now I've turned it off. So now it's off. Now Facebook is being blocked from using the microphone, which means... Uh, it should really be blocked from listening in on you and giving you targeted ads. The other thing I blocked was the camera. And I don't really use my camera or, or the Facebook app to take pictures. I used to use my normal, um, you know, camera app that the phone comes with, the default one. I don't really use it, so I've turned that off. You can see I've turned off most stuff, except even contacts I've turned off. The only thing I've left on is basic stuff, like location, fine. You know, when you take a picture or you want to... You know, tag your check-in somewhere. You need your location on to work, right? Uh, and storage, you you probably need that. But to turn the microphone off, you just click on that and you turn it off. And camera and stuff, I've turned off as well. So it's pretty straightforward to disable it uh, on Android. Um, and that's really it. Um, again, why do you want Facebook listening in? Why does Facebook need microface? Are you recording video on using Facebook? Are you recording voice or audio on Facebook to send to your friends? You can do that using any app. Uh, your default ones but why specifically does Facebook require it is the question this is what we're talking we know that there might be other apps and stuff that are listening into us like I said Google Assistant will um, but why Facebook it's just for advertising to be honest uh, that well that's the general that's, that's that's the general idea from their perspective but we can easily disable it by removing that permission from this app so we say in this app Facebook app is not allowed to use the microphone and it's not allowed to use my camera in this case and everything else you can see is disabled as well um, and that's entirely up to you what you want, what, you, what, what permissions you want to allow Facebook to have. But I've given it the basic ones. Um, and that's it. That's how you disable it on, on Android. Like I said, this is a Galaxy Note 8. So most Samsungs will be similar. I know the HTCs are very similar. Most Android devices will have, they all have settings, app, apps or apps, app permissions. You know, so you go to settings, you go to apps, just a quick way just so you can see again, you find your app. Go to Facebook, F, oh, there you go. Uh, and then you can see the basic stuff of the phone, of this app. What is this using? How much memory is it taking up? Notifications are allowed. Yes, no, you can block those as well. And then you go to permissions and you turn on, on and off what you want. So that's how you can disable the microphone on Android. 
Um, I'll be doing a quick video for iOS as well. So please sub and like the channel. And Wagwan Apps will be back with you later on in the house. Peace out.